Oh, we had a little bit of technical difficulties, but we are back. Here's AJ Shadows. He's here. As you saw, a couple of shows ago, he put on a wrestling clinic. If you don't recognize the voice, that is the original voice of WCF IP Freely. Oh, wow. Don't, don't flatter me. So now I'm seemingly the, the new voice of WCF, but that's neither here nor there. That's good to get rid of that guy named Ron Stewart. Wow. He sucks. Okay. Anyway, AJ Shadows is going to be competing in this contest. Woo! It's hot as hell in here. Oh, I just got oh, to go pee. Probably have to go pee. Probably. His opponent. Oh. His opponent. I think we know this music here. Already the tag champion in a non-title match against Anarchy, Dante Christian and a returning Davey Crank in a hell of a contest, but very good tag team ingenuity by the champs gave them the victory. And here comes Joey Suicide. What you guys did me? What a fucking joke! Your son is a joke! I heard this on SmackDown vs. Raw 2008. Look at this, look at Joey Suicide. Hey, this the song very, is on SmackDown the very, the very angry ginger that he is. Ginger, he's white. He's a ginger. But What's anyway. the difference? They're, they're clear. He's as clear as my Tupperware back home. I'm sure. And here we go. We got ourselves a one-on-one -on -one contest. AJ Shadows right here in the American flag tank top. Over here in the black with the gold trim, Joey Suicide, and the bell is rung. Here we go with this contest between these two young these two young lions looking to make a name for themselves here in yeah. Side headlock here after the collar that will tie up, but now look at this. He's got him into the wrist lock. Look at this, nice transition into the headlock, side headlock. Now it throws him into the corner. Oh, what a chop! And another one. Gonna throw him into the corner here. Oh, and a steam, big, big clothesline. DDT, nicely done. Shadows is down, back press, left hook. Two count, look at this, look at the transition. Oh, look at this, right to the race of Saturn. Unbelievable transition by AJ Shadows into the rings of Saturn. Now driving knees into the back of Joey Suicide. Now working on that back. That was a hell of a transition. After taking that bulldog, he was pinned and found a way to transition into the rings of Saturn. Oh, nice double leg drop there by Shadow. Has a leg hook that only got a two count. Still to come, we expected Troy Lewis to be in action, but we're hearing conflicting reports about that matchup, what it's gonna be, and if Troy Lewis is actually gonna be here. Oh, look at that, he took his glove on. Look at that. he's ready to give him an overhand chop, but instead he took two foot, two feet, right, two boots right to the face. Setting him up, are we gonna see a, another one? Wow. Oh no! Head scissor takedown uh -oh. from the power bomb. Look out, we know he can fly and he's gonna try it now. There he goes! Oh, my listen. goodness! Hey, hey, hey. I'm, I'm a big fan. I really am. Fuck him. Wow, AJ Shadows oh. risking life and limb to take down Joey Suicide. And now some oh. kicks. Turn him red! Referee is his throwing his cow. Riley James shit. <laughs> this nigga. Ain't nobody do that before. Hey, nigga got that creative wrestler move set. He caught no. He went to uh, WWE 12 and caught Riley James move. Nice elbow drop by Suicide. Two count only. Yeah, yeah, we got that. He caught that Riley James move set. Yeah, we got that. Don't do it. That's all. Men are. Philip T. Now, now suicide. Nice European uppercut by Joey Suicide. IP Freely is having full on conversations with members of the audience. Back press. No, 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 look. Backslide, backslide. No. Two cap. Oh. Oh, thrust kick. Oh. Moonsaw. 
Now flips over. Hilo, no! Misses. Topeco, Hilo, miss. He's got to sit up. No. Oh, what a DDT! Nice counter by AJ Shadows, and he goes down. Both men are down here. And the referee's gonna be getting his 10 count here. They have 10 to get back to the, their feet. Or it was this match will end of the draw. Suicide's the first to his feet. Forearm. Oh, big open hand palm strike. And now they're trading forearms. They are going toe to toe in the middle of this ring. Trying for a close eye. Nope, misses. Backside, backside. No. Go. Both men are down again. What are they going to do here? And they haven't done to each other already. Suicide. Not a fan favorite anymore after his actions in a hardcore triple threat match a few weeks ago. AJ Shadows trying to find his way in this area. They're both up. And there's a right hand, another right hand. Oh, what a shot! Pele kick! Oh, good God! Why are you taking Chris Manning's move? You just steal everybody's move set. He just stole everybody's shit. What? You got no kill switch type. My name is Tommy so Udani. Tommy Udani! How are you doing, sir? I missed you. Welcome back. Thank you, thank you. My children miss me too. I haven't seen them in years. I'm, I'm sure of that. Their mother is a bitch. Okay. This commercial was brought to you by child support. Fuck you. There you go. Oh, oh. That kick was. Oh, oh yeah, that Pele kick on him. Man. That was, that, was, oh. that was beautiful. It, he he, he Pele kicked him in the face and then he fell. It's those spots that make wrestling. Let's not bring that up again. <laughs> Tommy Udani. Going to the second row. Big flash missed. It looked like he was going for the Houston hangover, but this man is sober. Ladies and gentlemen, we brought to you today by Bank of America. Oh, there it is. Four man commentary team. Yeah, but it's a little too little. No, oh, that might not be too late. He kicked out. And like the girl in the back of my trunk, he will not stay down. Well, there you go. That was a two count. That was Joey Suicide's finishing maneuver, but he kicked I can't out. I think of a better name than Joey Suicide. It means you want to die. Oh, come on! The has just been tossed. Move to the face. Oh! Samoa James! Oh, what's this? Oh, come on! Oh, good God! Are you kidding me? That was an amazing pile driver. It made my nipples itch. One! If you... Oh, he kicked out again! And the match continues. How in the... They say a good Samoan can't keep you down, but liver cancer will. Oh, what a kick. Because that's how we answer. No, no, oh, no. Not, not even a white count. Was that a two? Nope. Yeah. Oh. He's gonna go for a Superman punch. The punch was thwarted by a kick. Oh my goodness. That's gotta be it. That's it. Ah. That's Molly James' little brother. That's the doctor's brother. If I move that like that, I'd be a much better person. Joey Suicide with a big victory over AJ Shadows. AJ Shadows gave it a hell of an effort, but it was not enough against this man who has a newfound focus and newfound aggression ever since that hardcore match he had a couple weeks ago. Woo! My goodness. Joey Suicide is your winner in this one fall contest. AJ Shadows has nothing to be ashamed of. He gave it a great effort, but it was just not enough. Folks, we have more generation to come, so stay tuned. I live my 
Championships Federation presents Generation. I am Mark Anthony Lewis, the voice of the WCF, along with other fans here in the Baltimore area. And we're getting ready for our opening contest of this week's show. And there he is, Dante, Dante Christian. Oh my God! You have got to be kidding me! Look who's back! Davey Craig is back! The third member of Anarchy has returned! Davey Craig is back! for months and he is now back and he will be a part of this tag team contest and our general manager is having some words with the returning Davy Crane got a memo saying come back well that's the thing he's the president's bitch now Returning Davy Craig and Dante Christian. Come on. Okay, and your name is? Trish. Trish. We have Trish who accompanied Anarchy to the ring. I guess she's going to be joining us for a little bit of color commentary here as we await our opponents. And you see, Anarchy is pacing. I ain't got all day. I got people to hold up. Come on, man. You don't know. You've been doing this shit for a year and a half. You still can't play. Fuck you! Stop playing this shit. Disrespectful ass. Oh, here come our shit. very you arrogant, bitter tag shit. team you champions. There's Showtime shit. Chris Manning, the Karate Kid, Chaz Evans. They are the Red Dragons. They are your current WCF tag team champions. I ain't gonna be. That's a movie to make. Chris Manning eats ass. Oh my goodness! This crowd is all over the Red Dragons, the current tag team champions, going up against Anarchy. It was supposed to be Dante Christian and Colin Gray. Well, we, we saw that the card said Anarchy, we just wasn't sure. But here's the returning Davey Crank, who's going to start this matchup out the gate. It should be good. It should be good. Like I said, it will be interesting to see if there's any ring rust on Davey Crank. We haven't seen Davey Crank wrestling in about almost two months, maybe almost three. And there's the bell. Here we go. Chaz Evans starting for Red Dragons. Davey Crank starting for Anarchy. And here we go. Colin Double tie up by these two men. And Chaz Evans, the karate kid, getting the advantage earlier. Backing him into the corner. Backing him right into the corner. Oh, come on. Come on. The disrespect shown by one half of the WCF Tag Team Champions who have a lot of people gunning for them. But now opening up their right hands to the head of Davey Craig and now tags in the big man, Chris Manning. Throws him into the corner. Now look at this, laying him in with stomp is Chris Manning who stands about six feet, six inches tall, weighs probably about 200. 40, 250. He is basically the power of the Red Dragons. And now listen to this crowd trying to will on Davy Frank. Oh, what a suplex! And a very arrogant cover there by.
by Showtime Chris Manning. Chris Manning not only is the current tag team champion, a former uh, he's won other championships here in the WCF. But look at this right hands. Now here comes here comes Davy making a comeback. Davy's basically known for his submission specialty. Uh, he's known for submissions, but he's also doing some striking as well. Oh God! Oh my God! What a deep up uh, bulldog! Down goes Davy, and again an arrogant cover by a very arrogant young man as Chris Manning. There's a tag. Here comes Chaz Evans. They have him hooked. Looks like it'll be a tandem move here. Back elbow, nicely done. And now look at this. A sit, nice tandem offense by Chaz Evans and Chris Manning. And now again, these two men, very, very brash young men, but I guess they have a right to be, being that they are currently at the top of the tag team division. There's a running uppercut. Oh, big boot. Again, more tandem offense. And you have to wonder if this was going to happen with Davey Crank being out for so long. Would he have the ring rush and would he still have the continuity with Dante Christian? And Again. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, what a kick! Oh, look at this. And a big, big right. Another right hand. You see, Davy wearing some different gloves. I guess he wants to protect his hands. He wants to punch people more than he used to. And now, look at this. Look at this. And now, here comes Dante Christian. Oh, big. And down goes Manning. And now front face lock by Dante Christian. Trying to grind down the big man. And here's a DDT. Nicely done by Dante Christian. No, two count. Dante Christian, a former WCF television champion, former hardcore champion. His partner, also a former television champion. At one time, they feuded for that championship with Green, which caused them to gain a lot of respect for each other and admiration, which is why they formed Anarchy with Colin Graves. Drum kick, down he goes. Oh, look at this, look at this, look at this. Choking out, Chad choking out Davy Crank. Davy Crank is actually the legal man now. Or is he? No, I guess he's not the legal man. Oh, we have now been joined by that nigga. Oh my God! What a kick! He just super kicked the hell out of that young boy. But we have been joined by that nigga, one of the most controversial commentators in this area. I'm not controversial. I just say what's real. Nobody else will. I understand that. So it's myself, Mark Anthony Lewis, that nigga, and Trish, the manager of Anarchy here at Ringside. Trish. Yeah, that's Trish. Oh! He just stole the ever loving crap out of Chris. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Either this is like six months ago. Where's the man? Did he bring him back? He just made his return today. Shocking everybody. I need to smoke weed. Yeah, you might want to do that. It causes you to forget things. Now look at Davey. Dante in the wind. There's a knee. And now what is he gonna do here? He's got him set up. Another DDT. That could give him a concussion. Davey Crank here got leaner, got some new gear, hair done grew. A little more aggressive, kind of like this Davey Crank. Yeah, you see he's wearing actual like MMA gloves. He seems like he wants to be more of a striker than anything, but now there's a submission. That's what Davey Crank is known for. Crippler crossface locked in. I did, I did hear uh, Davey Crank was right on. He actually was training in the MMA for a couple of a couple of weeks, so I'm guessing the gloves are to that, to that style. Oh, look, you can see the look on, as Trish just mentioned, this is a match we've been looking forward to. Davey, uh, Dante, Dante Christian and Chaz Evans 
Chaz had a big smile on his face when Dante got the tag. And look at this aggressive collar elbow tie up. And now, oh my goodness. Right hand, left arm. Oh, what a step up head kick by Chaz Evans. There's a reason they call him the Karate Kid. The man has been trained in karate. Yes. Yes. Long time from what I understand. I believe he's a black belt. Where's his black belt at? I don't believe you. Well, that's what I was told. So I'm going with that story. Yeah, probably somebody's lying. But let's just focus on this matchup here. Now he's up on top. Are we going to see? Are we going to see it? Into the, uh, into the power bomb by not lifting him. That's well, what I'm guessing. Yeah, he did a sit down power bomb. Now, what is he going to set up for? It looks like he might be setting him up for that springboard forearm. Got him. Got him. No, two count. He said he couldn't do it. Think about Dante Christian people don't count. He never gives up. That is true. But Trish, was, but Trish just made a good point. Um, Dante Christie does not know how to give up. That's my okay. name. Just it as many times as I need to so I can stop like. Forget. Oh, look at that. Gut wrench into a power bomb. Only a two count. So, Chris, how long have you been fucking Dante? Oh my goodness, that nigga, we are not going there. We're gonna focus on We're not gonna go there. So what? I'm not gonna go there. This is a, uh -huh. we'll put this as a PG show. Oh! It's definitely a PG when I'm born. Oh. Like X rated. Chris Manning. Oh. Chris Manning just broke that up. Uh, attempt at the Let's go, bitter end by Do by David Crank. Goodness oh, gracious. I like it was a reverse bitter end as well. Yes, it was. Oh. But there's, there's one thing in common between Dante Christian and Davey Crank. Neither one knows how to give up. And you can see Davey is not going to give up, but he's going to make the tag. Here comes Dante Christian. Into a clothesline. Another clothesline from the left side. And he is down to two. And Anarchy would love to win this tag team match. Oh! What a clothesline of that. I was just about to say Anarchy would love to win this matchup to get back in the tight tag, tag title hunt but the tag team champion stopped that straight dead in the trash. Manning got a blind tag as Chaz was in the corner. Dante was getting ready to come at Chaz and he didn't see that hell of a clothesline from Manning coming and next thing you know they were looking up at the lights and that's who's looking up at everybody else with their noses up and those championships up. Chaz Evans and Chris Manning, the Red Dragons. The Red Dragons have been on the road ever since they came back. I want to know how this is. Uh oh, I think that's. I want you. Woo! Stop being a bitch. After you lose to Jacob, see me. We'll see if you're real or not. Woo! Oh my God. I think that was a message to Noah Idol. Noah's supposed to be facing Jacob practice next week in a long awaited matchup. But man, now he's going to. Jeez. As you remember last week. Last week, Chris Idol defeated Chaz Evans in what was going to be, looks like their last match ever against each other. But I guess he wants the other item. That was the foot in this building. He can tell you W and BWA I said that shit. Oh my God. Ladies and gentlemen, that's going to happen in the future. Ladies and gentlemen, we're just getting started. We'll be right back. I live my day. Triple threat match. It's a triple threat match. We got a triple threat match here. 
It's a three-way dance. I don't know who this is. This is like some Godzilla shit. I think I know who this is. This should be on Iron Man. I know this should be in Infinity War. This is a nice song right here. I get an Iron Man Tony Stark fit. Oh. Here he comes. It's Chipso. It's white trash. Uh, I wouldn't say that. I'm awkward. sorry. It was a joke. I didn't, I didn't, I'm I sorry. I told you you ah! shouldn't have said that out loud, good man. Here comes Chipso. Chipso with his. Oh shit. Good grief. He put that nigga in his seat. He said, have several seats, bitch. Get so the very unpredictable one who had wrestling madness was reinstated back to the WCF. And now it's been all he's been looking again, find his way back again. Hey man, what's happening, y'all? We are now being joined by Chuck Mack, who we haven't seen or heard from in a long time. I had shit to do, man. You had shit to do. I had to make my round. Okay? I feel you. I feel Just you. like I got flushed every time I get I got flushed on the Patapsco River. But here comes Tyler Wolf. You can tell by the sound of the sultry R&B music that here comes the young and arrogant man. Look, there he is. Yo, this some shit you smoke to. What the fuck is on your neck? He got that Kinesio tape on his left arm. What the hell is going on with that? Well, you have to understand, several, a couple months back in another fed, he dislo he completely fractured that shoulder and was out for a couple of months. That, you know, a, an injury like that does take a while to heal, so he has a kinesiology tape in order to keep it stabilized. It don't look like he's wearing it right though. Well, I don't think you can tell him any differently. Nah. But I don't even think he's ready, man. I mean, look at how he got his goddamn tape. He's high on. as shit right now. Look at his eyes. One of them straps wrapped up. He high as fuck. He about to have to match his life right now. Oh, my God. Bro, I think we're about to witness a second murder here. IP Freely and Chuck Mack. It's the murder of the week. Bro. Murder of the week. Bro. Here comes bro. the current reigning Hardcore champion, Aiden Peace. I love his fucking music. Hmm, it's a murder. Hmm, it's a murder. Hmm, it's a murder. Ladies and gentlemen, Aiden Peace. The destruction. Aiden Peace. Oh my God. The very imposing hardcore champion won that hardcore championship at Wrestling Madness and has not even seen much in terms of competition for that title. Q Star still kissing up to him. Remember, he was Q Star's heavy, but it seems like now he, Q Star can't gain favor with this big monster. Aiden P's don't need Q Star. He doesn't. You hey. He's a fucking beast. There has there's been a lot of big men to step through WCF, but none is more dominant than the hardcore champion Aiden Peace. None of them, and I can name quite a few. And his white trash. And there's one right there in the ring. Duck Dynasty last looking motherfucker. Look, 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 look. Listen, listen. Sorry. All the titles not on the line. What? Non-title. I just want to see you kill it. Oh, man. Wow. The white man slayer, right? The white man That's kind of... White man slayer. I like that. This is unacceptable. This is unacceptable. Look at this. Look at this. I mean, wow. He's get the hardcore title. Oh, oh my. He don't like white man people. That's okay. Aiden said he won his title on the line, baby. The title's not on the line. That defeats the rules right. of the hardcore title. But hey, I don't I don't work here. Hey, well, I don't well I mean, a couple a couple weeks ago, Aiden Peace had a hardcore matchup, hardcore title matchup, and was able to win it without even going hardcore. I'm Tommy Udami. Tommy! Tommy Udami is now joining us. We have Tommy a four-man Udami. booth here. Let's go. I had to take a short masturbation now, break. Hey, oh. man, I'm like, what's up? We got more of them right here. This is one shade away from being a hate crime. Wolf out the ring! Oh my god, what a close ride! And Tyler Wolf being smart, he got out of the ring quick! Hey, hey, hey! Hey! He's smart! You smart! 
I like that. Tyler Wolf who won the first ever King of Ladders match. Show us some great ingenuity there. Tyler Wolf getting into that double team, but then getting out of the hell, getting the hell out of the And now Schizo is now taking the brunt of this punishment here. Tyler Wolf is WC original, Mark. WC original, he knows he's been to the game. Yes, he has. He's seen it all. Oh man, you can snap a leg with that with the size of eight piece. Eight pieces legs are like big old tree trunks. Schizo look like he about to rob. First man or bank? Yeah, I was wondering why he still has his mask on his face. I could feel the humidity here in this building. He go like, yeah, he's like a damn robber. And Aiden Peace is a cop. Good God. Both Running skin, me. Both of his old personality. So yes. God damn. Yes, indeed. He reminds me of the man who stole my wife. Yes, oh. stole my wife. Oh. No, not, not sexually. He really kidnapped her. Wow. Oh my goodness. Very disturbing. We're gonna find him I later. I was 20. You were 20? How do you now? Don't ask such questions, young man. Yes, sir. Hey, hey we're gonna focus on this man. Hey, let me know if that nigga won't be missing. He won't be missing. Understood. Anyway, this is brought to it you. It look like Tyler Wolf is about to get missing here. Tyler Wolf is the greatest impression of not being there I've ever seen in my life. He is like a ball. And remember, ladies and gentlemen. Usually in a normal match, putting him out like a jack. This would be a take get, take, the, take account, but this is a no qualification match. Anything goes. Take off this mask. We would like mask. to see his face. Is it Rey Mysterio? The question that everyone's been asking. Like. Oh. And it's not Rey Mysterio. Look. I'm unimpressed. Look, 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 look at Something, something going through the mask. Can I have the mask, please? No, nah, man, y'all ain't saying what Can I, I have the mask? mask. Going on with this Can one. I have it? No. Okay. Oh, that's ignorant. Oh, damn. Oh, 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 big man, stop that. What is Tyler Wolf doing? He's being smart, man. What do you think? Tyler Wolf looks like, like a. He like that. He wants his mask back. It so looks like he has his face. No! That was a forearm. From Atlanta named Future once said, mask off. Mask off. Oh, he can fit his pillow. It can take more than that. Oh, it can take down eight and feet. Oh, shit. Oh, when, oh, oh my God. God damn. When Aiden Peace gets on a roll, he's like a damn snowball in the Cartoon Network. He just keeps going and going and going. But look what Tyler and Wolf. Speaking of snowballs, Aiden Peace has. Oh. 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 Right on the shoulder. Oh, damn. And that took down the beast, Aiden Peace. Ooh, that rhymed. That should be a rapper. Beast, Aiden Peace. Well, I mean, you probably be just oh, oh, a half a rapper. Oh, that now, but no, never mind. Stop the I like, I, man, I like Lil Uzi Vert. I think he's the, the greatest rapper of all time. Hey, that nigga's trash. What you talking about? Pooey, that's one thing I can agree with you on that, Mr. Mack, is, yeah, he is. But anyway, back to this matchup. Tyler Wolf, after laying in wait for the most part of this matchup, is now taking advantage. That's what hustlers do. We wait until our opportune moment that we come in there and get A the hustler? He's just going to be a hustler. Really? Oh, right on the leg. The very same leg that was worked on by Aiden Peace is now being worked on by Tyler Wolf. Look at that. Uh, Look at the, uh, the pan. DDT. Never mind. Oh. Now look at this, look at this. Wow. Last chancery. Uh, the last chancery. I'm going to call this a python submission. Oh. It looks like a snake locking it in. Look. Uh -oh. Look at the no, torque. No. The cross torque. Cross cross oh, look at the trans. Yes. Oh. Oh, nice and sort of cross the cross Shades of wrestling. Look at the grimace on the face. A man died. Who did that move? Well, at least his family did. Oh. One, two. It's a valid point. There Somebody was a throw a bike in the middle of the ring. <laughs> Rest in peace, Rip Lenore. What? Oh. <laughs> oh, God. what a good grief. What a forearm. That oh, bony that. ass forearm. That, that hurts more than muscle. Hurt, it hurts because that's, that's a lot of bone. Exactly. Exactly. It's the equivalent oh. to a skeleton hitting me. Oh. oh. I don't know if you've seen oh. all those rotations in the movie, but skeletons hitting you is a very oh. bad thing. Yes, it is. And now it looks like somebody's got the cookie sheet. That's not a cookie sheet. That's a wait. That is a cookie sheet. I don't know that I know a cookie sheet is in the room. My old cookie sheet is acting. Hit him again. Hit his ass again. Hit 
him with that cookie sheet right in the back. Hit him right in the head. Oh, hitting him in the back would be effective considering his body is made. Hit him in the head. Of his spine. Yeah, exactly. Well, he ain't even gonna worry about that leg that he started working on. He just oh, it hit him right on top of the head. Hitting him in the head will have no effect. Just so I actually like right. you now. You listen. This shit fake as fuck. One of our fans believes the power of Santa Claus. <laughs> oh, Aiden Peace. One of our fans here. Aiden Peace. Aiden Peace now Question back in the ring. Schizo uh, said, Schizo said, Schizo saw Aiden Peace come in the ring, and he said, simply put, not gonna be able to do it. And now Tyler Wolf is now left in the ring alone with, with the, the beast. The big monster, Aiden Peace, the hardcore champion. Nice. And now going after the left leg of Tyler Wolf. The Beast, ain't in peace. The White Slayer. Uh-oh. Oh, here it is, here it is, he got him up. Oh, up! Ass overhead. It looked like Tyler Wolf Went straight back down to hell where he belongs. It looked like he didn't think he was gonna take it, but he ended up taking it in the ass. That, was, that, that sounds more like power bomb. That that sounds like prison wave to me. But what would I do? Oh God, what a right! I hand. wouldn't know anything about prison wave. I never dropped the soap, but I wasn't behind a lot of people. All right. Emotional. Oh. Oh. Did you see the way he just? That move was a vicious finisher in the '80s. Brother, Hulk Hogan ruled wrestling with that move. Brother, in 1983, so. that move was the equivalent to the Canadian Destroyer. Schizo oh, has a chair. There you go, a steel chair. Steel chair in the ring. Oh! You say you ain't getting me. Aiden Peace saw it a mile away. No, no, Aiden Peace avoided that like a Baltimore father avoids child support. Ain't that right, uh, Mr. Uh, Udami? Now I see. Oh, I don't want to yeah. pay child support. It's just I do not have to. Right. Wait a minute. Another oh, chair in the ring. No. Oh, no. Oh, shit. Now, look at this. Oh. This is a sound strategy here by these two men. Gang up on the bigger man. And now they're out trying to Basically, cut down. Why the they didn't take this strategy earlier? Well, they tried it earlier. It's how the wolf backed out. So I guess now they figured, you know what? Now it's time to do so. Here we go. Which one of these men will be the chairman of the board? What? Well, we're about to find out. I didn't get that one, Tommy. I, mean, I don't see the ball. Oh. Hey, there's a lot of things I don't get, like pussy and respect. I, I got it. Oh, Tyler Wolf just got it. Tyler Wolf just got him right upside the head. Hey, hey Tommy or uh, it's Tommy Udami. How high are you right now? I'm gonna not lie to you. Couple oh, perfect set, a lot of leave, and some antidepressants. Though the antidepressants are up there. Hey. <laughs> Dang, what the fuck are you going through? I had to step away from camera for three minutes to cry. <laughs> and a sunset. No way. There it is. DDT. The most vicious move. That's it. Pin him, pin him, pin him. I took you out. I don't know what you just said. You told him you took him out. I'm more crazy than you are. We crazy than he is. We need subs, I can try to make those. Wait, 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 it's Wolf! Oh, damn! Got him! Here's the one, two, Tyler Wolf! Getting the victory! Tyler Wolf stealing another victory underneath everyone's nose. That's why the title wasn't on the line. Tyler Wolf, after Ace Beast was taken on by WRPDT, took Schizo down and got the pin. And look at this. Two stars just so Q stars jetted out it quick. Tyler Wolf just won this triple threat match. Two stars ain't shit. He said he wanted to see the match. Ace Beast is still down. It's a good thing this wasn't for the title, or Ace Beast wouldn't be getting that belt back today. <laughs> oh shit. I ain't seen him in years. Schizo's <laughs> over there just laughing. <laughs> Fucking creepo. <laughs> Aiden Peace is up. 
He's still the hardcore champion, but he, he lost this match. Even though he wasn't pinned, it's still gonna be a loss on his record. I don't even think this nigga know he lost the whole time. Look at that, eight in peace. That's amazing. Yeah, I'm with I told you. Q was saying stars, man. No, you got, you, hey, you hey. make a very valid point, Mr. Mac. He is hitting Quay stars for the title. Quay's all. Wait, 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 wait. He oh, actually, the oh. beast is going oh, no. to speak. Hey, the beast wants to speak. You got these two <laughs> fake wolf clubs in here, and you thought they was going to take my spot? and take my belt, and you show them more love than you show me, uh -oh. because you got two little dire wolves, Bitch well, guess ass. what? Your time and their time is done. Mm. They make a story with the music. Because oh. I'm running this shit now. Oh, oh. I know my God. Aid of Peace has ripped away the chains that bound him from Q stars. He is after the sons of darkness. I felt like if he was Kendrick Lamar, but... Murder. It's a murder. My goodness. It's a murder. I'm going to start doing vocals for everybody's theme song today. Well... Folks, we'll be right back with hey, more generation shit. after this. Aiden Peace is now on his own. Back, Bob. Man, we are back here. Mark Anthony Lewis, Chuck Mack here at ringside. We are getting ready for this next singles bout. And this is going to be a highly anticipated one. It's actually our main event for this week's show. And here comes the former WCF Tag Champion, Hawk. My nigga got a My bad, dog. He is, he is he's looking very fresh, but this man has been on a bit of a losing streak as of late. Oh, yeah? Trying to break his break that losing streak now here, but it's not going to be an easy time. Let's go! And Hawk oh, getting himself fired up for this matchup and he's gonna need to be fired up because his opponent is not is gonna be someone who has quite the reputation in this area in the DMV a man who at who up until wrestling madness was the top guy in this company and that would be none other than greatness Samuel Masters and there he is, the former WCF champion of the world. Back at it. And wait for it, here it comes. He does something different than what he used to do. Samuel Masters, one of the most prolific athletes in this area, one of the most decorated athletes in this area. A few weeks ago, he and Jacob Practice challenged Red Dragons to a tag team match down the line. You can't be afraid of fire when you live in hell! And you hear what that statement right here resonates with me because living in Southeast DC, living in hell all day, every day. And if you don't have that fire, that fight inside, 
<laughs> you ain't gonna laugh. And I, I, I would imagine the same thing goes on in East Baltimore, where he from, man. And then also, that message also was a shot at the Red Dragons, whose her, their signature catchphrase is, feel the fire and fear the dragons. So, here we go. Chris Hawk, former tag champ, versus the former WCF champion, Samuel Masters' greatness. And you see Masters with the purple and black trim against Hawk, who is in black and white trim. Yeah, they go all a double tie up. Hawk is the bigger of the two, and the, but the one thing about Masters, he's so technically sound. There's a waist lock. Trying to grind down Masters, but now look at this. Masters, hard move, double leg takedown into a, looks like a side headlock here. And, and the shoulders down. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Look at Hawk. Look at Hawk. Trying to wrestle with the man who's known as greatness, the A Sin, a very technically sound athlete like Samuel Masters. Look at this. Go under. Place lock. German. My goodness, that caught Samuel Masters off guard there. That big time German suplex from Hawk. Hawk has been known to throw people around in the ring. Hawk is smiling, he wants to do more damage. Well, Hawk, has, Hawk is trying to get himself back on the winning track. Remember, he lost the Tag Team Championship in a ladder match at Wrestling Madness, and then he's lost matches since then on his last two appearances on Generation. So he's been on a losing streak as of late. A win over Samuel Masters will definitely give this kid a lot of confidence and build some momentum going forward. He, he has confidence right now despite all those losses. I mean, you can see it in his eyes, you can see it in the constant smile he has on his face, but he's absolutely determined. You can see that. You, you know what, you make a very good point there, Mr. Mack, that he does still ooze confidence, but you have to wonder if, what, if he's really masking something in the fact that at, what, right before Wrestling Madness, he and his tag team partner who suddenly disappeared were on top of the tag team division. Now, he's not even really in conversation right now. Maybe right, he did be masking up. We'll, we'll see how that's going to play later on. Look at this armor. Oh, man. Arm ring and it slaps the arm down. He's really gonna try to take away some of the strength of Hawk by taking away one of his arms. What what in the world? Apparently someone in the crowd said something that really I the higher masters, but he's back at it again. Oh my goodness! Backstabber with the arm, and now look at this going after the arm. Going after the arm here. Right there, a momentary distraction by Samuel Masters by the crowd gave Hawk the opening to get out of that arm lock and give himself some space away from Samuel Masters. That was a veteran maneuver right there. Yeah. Oh, a knee right there, and now he's setting him up. Bulldog, Bulldog headlock. Got him. What a leg drop. Not a very good cover. I'm gonna tell you something, young man. When you're going up against a man the caliber of Samuel Masters, those kind of covers are not gonna get it. You can't be lazy with the pinfalls. No, you cannot, especially with a man like Samuel Masters. Look at this. Look at that. Oh, and there's those strikes, those kicks that he is so known for. Not only is he a very technically sound wrestler, he is a very deadly striker. Is the Southpaw. Now he's got Hawk. He's gonna take him off the road kind of clip. No. Follows him in with a knee. He's gonna cut. Another knee. And now wait, set him up. Russian leg sweep. Nicely done. Oh! Lifting leg drop. No. Two count only. But that was a nice combination of moves there by Samuel Masters. 
using hitting him with those knees off the ropes and then hitting him with a Russian leg sweep and then a flipping leg drop. And now he, being Sammy Masters, has the advantage. And there's a kick right into the side of the gut there. And you can hear Hawk trying to gather his air, trying to gather himself here. Damn, this crowd's getting goddamn Jesus! Now what is he gonna do? He's got him. This is gonna take a lot of strength. Good suplex! My goodness, what a, a gut wrench suplex. Oh, we have IP Freely back, who is not a big fan of Hawks since leaving his team, Team IP, way back when. When are you gonna let that go? I will not let it go. Why not? Why not? I'm the reason he became WCF champion years ago. Oh, what a springboard into an elbow by Masters. Has a slattle press and only gets a two count. Hawk is definitely hanging tough here if against the former WCF champion. Ever since leaving Team IP, he's never won a major single title, except for the United States, which is not the fight. Ah! He's got him, he's got him, got him up! Oh, Spine Buster! I told him that. I told him that. You taught him that, IP? I taught him that. Well, okay. We'll take your word for it. Anyway, now both men are down here. The referee. Oh, I'm a former gym champion. Yes, I know. I still wonder how in the hell you became a gym champion when well, you listen, have... Okay, never, never mind. There's a long story. Okay. When I was five years old. You know what? We don't have time for that story. We're going to look at this match. match. Oh, man. And now look at Hawk. Has him up. Angle Got him. The whole ring got just got hand on him. One hand. Oh, he moved it. Nah, he, he doesn't yeah, know where he, he is. He didn't at all. He wasn't the waiter. He already had the pimp. Wait, ball. wait, wait. Oh, that was a mistake. That might have been a mistake by Hawk. He had Samuel Masters dead to rice, and he's on the road. Oh, wait a minute. He's got him. He's got him up. Oh, my God. A belly to belly overhead suplex. Did you see the way that Masters was planning for I don't think Samuel Masters ever been manhandled like that before. Ever. And he's been doing this for a long time. A long time. The hands underneath the rose. Referee in good position to see that. Because Hawk just sucks. He sucks. My goodness. And now, confidence starting to wear off, man. And there's an uppercut. The right hand. Another right hand. Nope, he got him, got him. Oh, there it is. That snap driver. And man, the both men are down. That's just going for cover here. Back press. No. Two count only. Masters looked like he had him in, had him there, but took a little too much time to gather himself. That gave Hawk some time to recover and get out at the counter too. Now both men back to their feet here. Close eye. Oh, oh, both men are down. Jesus. Both men are down here. Both men taking a close eye. They both had the same idea. Both men are down. Hawk. Masters, main event of this week's show. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh no. You gotta be kidding me. Oh no. What is this weasel Oh! He hit Hawk! But that, you know what that means? Yes, I do. I that do means Hawk exactly wins by disqualification. The losing That's streak is three. over. That's three, Masters. Three matches on the screen. Oh my god. Good grief. Good grief. Well, damn. Jesus Christ. But either way, your winner by disqualification is Hawk. Hawk is your winner in your main event of this week's show. We hope you enjoyed this week's show. We'll be back next week with another episode of Generation. Make sure more loud next week, y'all. Yes. Next week, the main event. We understand we'll involve the family. So get ready. So stay tuned for that. But for now. With Chuck Mack, this is Mark Anthony Lewis signing off. Good night, everybody.